Hello, and welcome to another episode of our Timberborn series. We're playing on a custom map with a custom difficulty that's roughly twice as hard as hard mode. On the last episode, we blew out this corner of the map to make this little uh, planting area. So we're going to finish that. We might either blow it down one more time or we might just plant up here. I'm not sure. We also started work on our mega, giga, ultra, mega, super duper, du giant, damn, something. <laughs> this is it right here. It's right here. It's going to take a while and that's that's okay. That's okay. It's part of the plan because it's going to take like 12, 13, 14,000 logs and uh, that's 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 crazy. <laughs> that's a crazy amount. So we're just going to we're going to let that work on its own time. Aside from that, we have 2 days to go until the next drought hits. So we're basically just going to batten down the hatches and stuff and see uh see how this works out. Really all we got to do is wait for the tank tank to fill and it's about full. And then the rest of the time is just going to be the river filling up. And I think we're almost there. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of drought we get. We're going to get started with a suggestion that was given to me, which was to put a log pile over here. If we put a log pile and we make the desired full, like it normally comes instead of desired none, then our haulers will actually keep it full and keep it topped off the entire time. So our workers don't have to run all the way around the map just just to just to be able to build this wall. So it'll go just just a tiny bit faster. It still takes time, but at least this way it'll uh, it'll be a little more efficient. And we didn't actually get to see this last time because I, I blew I blew this area right at the end of the episode. But if you, you can see that this this whole area is actually staying green. And we can actually I can test how green it's gonna stay. So if this drops to two levels here, so we're gonna drain this out. You see it's draining. I'm curious if how much of this greenery is gonna retreat. All right, yeah. See that that's a lot. We just lost a lot there after one, only one level loss. Oh, no, it's coming back. Oh, it's just because there's a little wave. Because if we go below that, it'll it'll disappear again. All right, well, either way, yeah. So we're, we're going to have to blow this down one more time. We have 144 dynamite, so I, I'm not sure. I don't know how big this space is. I don't think that's enough, but we're going to try. We're going to try and do it. Hopefully, we have enough dynamite for all this because I really, really want to get this started. All right, and since we were messing around, I got to... Uh, okay, well, I got to wait for this to level out. Is it leveled out? Yeah, okay, leveled out. So now, now we can use our interchange. We raise the two side gates. And you'll see now, since it's locked off here and here, only this part's getting full. This is a good system. I think, uh, I like it. <laughs> I think it's a good system. All right, there's 1.3 days left. So I'm going to raise these gates up so that this tank can top off. I think that's the right amount of timing. I could be wrong. There's some flooding there. That's okay. Because we just need this part to be full. All right, that's pretty full. So now, now we raise this gate up and we lock this this water in there. This gate can go to 2.5, and these two gates can drop to zero, and that should work pretty good. Assuming this area doesn't flood. Oh, it is kind of full. 0.99. This is trouble. Uh, we don't. Uh, 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 uh. I think we gotta drain a bit. This is why we need the back tank, because right now we could just direct all the water to the back and not have to worry about this at all. Batter docks flooded, so is that. Okay, everything's flooded. All right, yeah, we don't have a choice. We gotta drain. We gotta drain. Big boy tank's filling up too. Hopefully it doesn't flood. This is too much micromanagement. If we had this big tank in back working right, then we could really, we could just close, close off here and everything would just pour into the big tank. And we wouldn't have to worry about managing the front and back quite so much. I think that should be enough draining. I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna overflow. I gotta release some of it. I'm a little bit concerned about what kind of drought we're gonna get. Okay, that's cycle 16. I don't know. I mean, I, I think we could get into the mid-30s at this point. The luck of the draw has been uh, somewhat weirdly on our side, but a little too much because we, we've lost weeks of time at this point. I'm going to close this now. We've lost weeks of days because the cycle goes wet season and drought, and the cycle's over, and then everything gets harder and longer. So if you have too short of a drought, we're losing days. We're just losing days before, you know, before things get, like, really, really hard. Oh, this is flooding already. Ugh, this is such a mess. I don't like all this micromanagement. It's too it's too hard to, to figure it out. Now this area is flooding. Ugh, man. All right, what if we just open these gates up and drain that out? We've never actually used the side gates before, but that might be a faster way to level all this. These trees are flooded. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, I think we've lost enough water there. Now we'll close it off. I think that's enough. I don't, I don't really know. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's not a problem I want to be having right now. Well, this is coming down pretty well over here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put put that back up. 
Hopefully that was enough. I really don't want to mess around with it. Is this batter dock fine? No, it's flooded too. Drain it out a bit. I should use the side gates more often. Because then we'll see a little bit of a faster uh, result on how much water we actually have to lose. Alright, raise that back up. I can get rid of this forester now. Actually, maybe I'll get rid of that one. Can this one reach everything? Yeah, that one can reach everything, so I'll get rid of this one. And I'm going to add a couple of lumberjacks. And we can plant a couple more maples. Boom. And I'm going to guess these weren't cut. So early drink. <laughs> early drink. There you go. Uh, I should really check on the other side. Make sure we're not losing too much. I think we're losing too much. Close that off. All right. Now I think we're okay. See, in an ideal world, I could just open this back area up and start filling that. And basically not fill this at once it's full. Once the front and this is full, we just cut off the water and it's fine. But right now, we don't really have that option. All right, I think I think this is okay. I think we're going to be all right. And we're about to see how long of a drought we're going to have. Well, all our tanks are just about full. We need more tanks. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Could put tanks down here. Let's make two rows of tanks on this bottom area. I don't think I need to put anything else there right now. I don't know. I need a location for like extended storage. But it's got to be somewhere that they can reach. Maybe up here. <laughs> would that be crazy? Just make a giant row along the edge of water tanks. I mean it would obviously be a super long distance for them to run. But they would fill the ones over here first. And then they would rotate to like over there. Not sure. We'll see how much dynamite we have. This is. Yeah we've already lost 50 dynamite. Or 40. No, 50. 50. And this isn't even anywhere close to being done. How do we lose 50? I think they're carrying the dynamite. I think that's why. Yeah, he's got explosives. So a bunch of them are carrying explosives. I think they're on the way. Keeping an eye on it. Keeping an eye on it. What's it going to be? 20 days. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, I, I would have taken a little bit longer, but 20 days is all right. Man, we make a mess over here when we flood. That is not good. All right. 20 days is manageable. I can I can do that. There is one thing I wanted to do over here, actually. We have... <laughs> I originally put the bridge over here with the stilts because I wanted to use this walkway, but we have access to the walkway over here. And, I mean, we wouldn't have access over here, but we can, we can make our way up there if we need to. So I'm actually going to fix these bridges because right now they don't, they don't match and it bothers me. So all that time we spent blowing this whole thing out, I don't really care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is that all the way? That's all the way. Okay. All right. Now they match. Match in length and color. That was important. I needed to do that. We can actually just put a platform right here like that so they, they can go around. Uh, and you know, we should probably connect to the main water area <laughs> so they don't have to want to run all the way around. How about that? A little bench in a bush? <laughs> I guess that's okay. <laughs> we made it work. It kind, of, it kind of is all right. All right. So now that that's here, because the desired is set to full, so 180, They'll actually start bringing logs over here, but not if they're doing something else. But if I make it a priority, there's about to be a whole bunch, bunch of, bunch of haulers running, running with logs. Oh, there's the train. There's the train. Look at them go. Since we have a log surplus, I'm going to turn our engine on. Or I mean, I'm going to build another engine. And we're going to do another paper factory, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. Maybe we'll just go for another explosive factory. Got to make that a priority because right now everything's stuck. And that'll allow us for, to run a smelter and another smelter and another explosives factory from that engine. Our temple satisfaction is really low. I think because people are going to the shrine instead of the temple. And they get a much smaller bonus from the shrine. Plus 5%. Plus 25% from temple. I'm going to delete. So we're going to keep track of it. We're going to see the temple is 67 right now. Okay, I'm not going to change the working hours or anything. I'm going to leave them at 18, but I am going to delete the shrines. I'm just curious if their, their, their temple usage is going to go up now. Do you like these radioactive trees? <laughs> the pine resin glows like crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's made. <laughs> I'm not sure it's just resin, you know? <laughs> Shouldn't be glowing like that. You know, our log storage is actually getting close to being full. No, I mean, not really, but we have these, the bottom five are still kind of empty. And on this side, I mean, I guess we're about halfway. I was considering adding another level, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, I think we're all right. Thinking of doing the labor monument. I unlock both of them. We have the science points, so it doesn't really matter. We really know where. And we have the materials right now. It give us a really, really big boost their productivity. I mean, the obvious option would be the housing, but our housing is a little busy uh, with the water tanks. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
Even just sticking it like right here somewhere would be fine. It's just, I mean, it's not a very like creative location, but I'm honestly thinking of doing it just for the bonuses and not worrying about it too much right now. Cause I feel like most people walk through the middle area here, at least to go to the bridge or to go sleep or to drink water. I guess they're all drinking water from this. If I got rid of these stairs, it would force everybody up here. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna build them right next to each other. Cause I wouldn't mind having some awe or any and i'm gonna delete the stairs and now anybody that wants to come up here to drink will have to walk by the monument <laughs> that's how we make sure everyone has it yeah we're gonna get walking speed plus 30 percent and working speed plus 25 percent. that's pretty big hey our engine's running so we're we're 30 over i mean that's pretty good <laughs> yay us <laughs> yeah we should we should be pumping out way more explosives now and metal because our metal processing is it's really slow it takes four hours to make one piece of metal that's a lot it's a lot of time ah uh, see see we're out of dynamite and this isn't done i knew we wouldn't have enough but at least at least we're getting there we're getting there it shouldn't take too long and actually instead of running the smelter maybe i'll bring do another explosives factory right here let's do that i'm gonna do that uh right shit uh the power uh power 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 how do we do that uh, i did not think about that i mean i already deleted it so it's too late all right so they're next the the plan uh, the plan was to do that was i not planning to put that there how would that work then where could i put it i did want more could put it like that and then something could go there and like that and like that and then something could fit up here yeah so i think two items have to go right here and then something else can go up there Mostly because we need the road for the paper factory here. God, I hope you like it when I do this crap. Because <laughs> it's so much of this uh, this series just me sitting there staring trying to figure it out. <laughs> you don't even know how much I cut out. <laughs> like, I just give you a taste of me just sitting here talking to myself trying to figure it out. Ugh, man. Alright, if we put it there, we still have to connect the power between these two things somehow. Hmm... There's not really an easy way to do it. I don't suppose any part of the explosives factory can transfer power up top, can it? No. Okay. Just have to check. It is too tall. Two levels tall. It's not too... I mean, it is too tall also, but... It's not really the point. I could just take a little warehouse and bury it underneath. <laughs> just never use it. <laughs> just have like a little, you know, under the road warehouse. It would constantly show not connected to path. That's the only thing. It would just, it would really irritate me to see that all the time, but that it literally would work. I could just like plop it down underneath and it would transfer power over itself. Actually, we can do something over here, I think. Because this is sideways, there's room to go up and around. We only need three squares. I was thinking I had to go over the road this whole time, but really, I mean, I don't. I can just do that and put the power underneath. Like that. That works fine. We'll get rid of this road for a second. Let that build. It doesn't it doesn't look the best, but it'll work. It'll work perfectly fine for right now. At some point, it's going to be a problem over here because we need a path for the paper factory that will eventually go there, but maybe we'll figure out something else by then. But maybe not. <laughs> but maybe not. I don't know, but for right now, that that's fine. So I guess we're leaving this guy here, huh? Yeah, we're leaving him there. A lot of haphazard decisions happening right now. We're definitely going to need the pa paper factory for that. But I just want him temporarily. While we have a surplus of paper, I might as well have a, an extra factory working. And then I'll pause him afterward. Oh, look at that beautiful bridge. That looks so much better. I didn't like the mixture of the rope and the metal. Yeah, it looks way better. It's a lot more in theme with, with the iron teeth. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I know words. I'm hip. <laughs> all right, that's all built and that's all connected. So we can do a road right there. High priority, and that'll be fine. That all works. It's fine for now. I mean, eventually we'll have to change it. Also, guess we're going to turn the smelter off. Because, uh, but then we're wasting 80 power. No, we'll leave them on. There'll be a little bit of a loss of efficiency, but we, we can stomach that, I think. I think that's all right. All right, since we have a surplus of wood right now, I'm actually going to, I'm going to destroy the Lido here. I'm going to move it over like I wanted to before. And we're actually, we're going to actually build this out a bit. We're going to move our foresters and make this whole area a bit more efficient. That's going to be the Lido there. And then... Alright, we're going to platform all this and then we'll figure it out. Platforms first, plan second. <laughs> and then... 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 
Alright, one thing we can do is I've I've wanted to move for the temple for a while, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna delete all this. That and you Alright, we're gonna fix these, actually. Like that. There you go. Straight across. That needs to be a priority because they're stuck now. Nope. Not the roads. The platform needs to be a priority. Alright, and I'm gonna put the temple here, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do it. Or which way I'm gonna face it. Cause it's gotta go So it could be like that. Or like over here. But if it's over here, I can face either direction. Well, first things first, let's I'm gonna blow these two little pieces out. Cause they look silly. <laughs> That's all. They just look silly. I mean, realistically, I would like to just clear this out and make it completely like square. But I don't think the temple fits there then. I mean, if we if we went down one more level, we'd be able to do it. We could do the temple like right here. That might be kind of cool. Maybe we do that. Maybe we take it. Uh, oh, that's the water level. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> okay, but if the temple was there, uh, it doesn't work because that's where the line would need to be. And the temple's ground only, so you can't you can't build a levee or anything and put it there. If we had them blown through this walkway, it would have been okay. But we did, so. <laughs> so we can't square this off. The struggle. Maybe the temple doesn't go there then. But then where would it go? <laughs> I'd just like to say that I deserve a little bit of credit for not deleting this temple first before I had the next one picked out. Because that would totally be in my in my playbook to just <laughs> just delete it and be like, we're moving it. Yay. And then and then not actually have a place for it to go. Temple could be over here. That's kind of a cool spot. Especially if or when this gets removed. That might be all right. We can make the outside very uniform because of these ledges. Kind of works. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to think about it too much. Believe it or not. <laughs> I'm not going to think about it too much. All right, there goes the new temple. Yay, celebrations to be had. It's kind of cool back there. No? Look at that, like in the distance? Ooh, I like that. I actually like that a lot. Big fan. <laughs> Seal of approval. <laughs> that means we can do things. Delete that temple. Uh, 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 uh how do we want to do this? Do, 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 dance and map, dance and map. Dance and map. It helps me think. It helps me think. It helps me think. It makes my brain work better. Work better. If I distract it from thinking, then it works at its optimal rate. Do, 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 do. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. We're going to have to destroy this blueberry warehouse. I think it's in the way. Maybe we do a secondary tank over here. That's three levels high. I'm not really sure what the point of it would be. But we could. All right. Well, either way, let's... Uh, so, B platform's going across. And then it would just go straight down. Because that is the most direct path. So. So. All right. We got to remove these resources. And, well, and the road's going to go across there. And then we're going to figure some stuff out. I don't know what we're going to figure out. Maybe we'll go down here and plant more trees in this area. Those are some dead-ass blueberries anyway. Yeah, that warehouse really got to go. Do I... <laughs> Do I just destroy it? <laughs> uh, I don't want to just destroy it. But I do need it out of the way. Should I take these warehouses up another level? How's that look? Is that looking good? What do you think? Okay with that, I think. No? Like that? Is that good? Do you think that looks good? Yeah, I think that fits pretty nice. We're going to do that. We're going to transfer all the blueberries over. We're going to delete this guy, and then we're going to finish that road. Ooh, we're almost there. Okay, delete that road, and now we can place explosives there. And then that's that's gonna be <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> that's gonna be beautiful. All right, I think I'm gonna make this back area. I'm gonna make this lower priority because I think too many too many of the workers are run into it. I'm a little worried if I do that, they'll never actually work on it. But I don't know. I don't know. We're doing it. All right. This is just about cleared up. So we're going to put some stairs and we're going to road it up and we're going to see how far the road can go once that's done. All right. And we can do this part too. All right. That guy can handle, well, except for these trees. So that doesn't quite go far enough. Maybe we need to do another platform over here in the river. Mm, I don't know. But, but the forester here, man, that does not work, does it? It like doesn't really reach. All right, well, I'm giving up on that for now, then. I'm not going to mess around with it. Let it. We'll finish it at some point. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Big money shot. <laughs> That's clean. <laughs> oh, we like that. Yes, we do. All right, so the only thing that's actually going to have to go down there is a forester. Because the lumberjacks, I believe we can just stick over here. Let's put some stairs to begin with. Do we go that? I guess we go this way? Or let's go that way and this way. And then we'll see. Then we'll see how much and where we need to put things. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here, but I know I definitely want to take these pieces out because they're too low anyway, and they're in, they're not really, they're not doing anything for me. There we go. Two more pumps. <laughs> like so. Well, actually, we can put another one there. Oh, this is working out all right. This is working out all right. Cool. Yeah, that's good. We got 14 days left, and we're not, we're not even feeling it really. I mean, this river, I think, is going to be okay. I don't even think we have to release any water or nothing. I'm gonna drop some extra tanks over here. Might as well fill them up. They don't cost that much. I mean, they're fi they're basically 50 wood each. The problem is the gears, but we need we need backup water because once once the once the drought's over, there's not really like everything just gets refilled and then we're kind of we just start losing water and we need to we need to start banking it as much as we can. Oh, I forgot to set this to empty. <laughs> I was wondering why I was taking so long. Stupid me. All right, while they're doing that, we're going to figure this out. So we need a forester that can do... All right, so you can do everything there. Oh, right there. I guess that's probably the best spot. All right, so forester's going to go right there. And we don't actually need lumberjacks right now. The foresters... Actually, we're going to do... We're going to do two foresters. Maybe three. Let's get three going. We're going to do three foresters. We're going to get this planted in record time. And we're just going to... All maple. All maple all day long. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of maple. Oh, man, that's going to feel good. <laughs> Look at that. That's like, that's comparable to the front part. This front area, like that's, that's an insane amount. Imagine if you could cut this corner out and add that much more. That's just, that's a lot of blowing away and I don't, we could, we could use that explosive somewhere else. I might just get rid of this farm on this side. I'm not sure it's really doing anything for me. I'll leave it for now, but at some point I gotta, I gotta deal with the river. The river is kind of a problem right now. It's way too wide and it's taking too much water. As soon as this back tank is built, our, this river is going to have to shrink down like real hard. Not sure how I'm going to do that though. Why does that say it's not connected? Oh no. Oh, I didn't check the roads. Oh, that's awful. It only makes it to there. Wow, that's really pushing it. That's like on the complete edge of where we can be. Wait, but he can be the top part touches. Okay, so we're going to put a forester right there. That guy will be fine. This guy are going to delete the building platforms. And how's that? All right, there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Problem solved. Since we're running on a massive surplus of logs right now, because we have a lot. This is uh this is the most we've had in a long time, and I'm I'm pretty happy with how how it's come. Why nine buildings not connected? Oh, the tanks, right? Desired none, desired none, desired none, and we're skipping ahead probably. All right, all desired none, and now we can connect the roads. Here we go. Now they can start filling them, especially with our new pumps. Pump 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 pump. Oh no, I did that thing. They can't blow this down because of the pumps. Ah. <laughs> uh, just kill me. Well, <laughs> at some point we'll have pumps there. All right, that's close enough. So we're going to delete that. I got to pause because we just broke the path. Get rid of that and that. And I guess we got to we got to dig up. I'm going to just get rid of these carrots for now. In theory, if we ever expand the housing the way that I want to, which is to put more housing like right here, then this shelf is actually kind of worthless. Do we have dynamite? We got dynamite. Okay. We're going to clear this up and make all that priority, get rid of it, and we're, we're going to flatten this out. They would stop being in the way I could blow this up. So road there and blow the rest of the way. Or road. Stairs. Stairs there and then blow the rest of the way. <laughs> this little corner divot is really going to bug me now. Uh, you're in the way, corner divot. 
And I think this whole area might just be potatoes. Because our potato numbers are going down, like, real bad. And we need potatoes, because they give, uh, give strength as a bonus. It's important. Since we don't really have anything to put in this space right now, I'm going to move um, the breeding tanks. Yeah, I'm going to move the breeding tanks over here. That'll take up a nice little chunk. And we're going to get rid of these ones. That actually adds a couple of tanks. So, our population will end up going up, but I, th I think I'm okay with that. Just a little bit. I think I want to settle around, like, 250. 250, I think, would be pretty good. All right, road's done. And how about that? That is that is not bad. I mean, that was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of destruction just to gain this little itty-bitty piece. But I think it's worth it. And can we build on top of that because it's dead? We can. Nice. <laughs> Alright, and now we'll be able to see how much of this can be a further farm. Because we can make all of that more trees. That's that's good. That's good right there. And we might we might do something with the blueberries. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure how essential they are there. And we're gonna stick some potatoes right here. Just might as well, at least for now. Yeah, that'll give us a nice little little dose of potato. And then we really we gotta I gotta clean up all these paths. They're all they're they're a mess. <laughs> They're just a mess. And these guys are going. It's going to take them a minute. I wish I could have had that third one. But that's all right. That's going to be a lot more lumber. We can, we can, we can, we might be able to leave that extra engine on all the time. And maybe even do another one. That's going to be awesome. Uh, this, this tank is actually progressing pretty fast. We have a lot of lumber. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing something that speeds up the production. I had a, I had an idea where, I mean, one way is to build scaffolding and stuff, but that's just, that's an insane amount of wood. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you my idea. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna show it to you. So, we'll be right back after this brief message from our sponsor. It's no sponsor, but we'll be right back. Alright, so that's what I was thinking of doing. Because if you're gonna build platforms this whole way, that's one, two, three, that's four level three platforms plus a single. And it actually, it would have to be higher because that's according to this level. So it'd be three more. So it'd be re, it would be a lot. It would be a lot of platforms, a lot of wood. Each one is 10 logs. That's a lot. That's a lot. The whole way across, especially if like, imagine if you did scaffolding all the way along the side, which would just be, that would be a huge waste. But going through the middle, because the tank is going to be squared off, going through the middle, we could go down here and they would start building it from the middle around the outside while the top guys are building it from this side. So it actually speed it up quite a bit. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to drop. That's a hundred metal. Do we even have, that would be all our metal right now. But I mean, it would be useful. The problem is I'm not even sure how I want to handle this part. So this would this would literally just be temporary. I would build it and then we'd end up destroying it. What to do? What to do? Do 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 do. See what I mean? That's a lot to gamble on. A hundred metal takes us an eternity to build. So I don't. I'm not sure I really want to do that. I guess is my point. We still got to figure out. The other problem is we got to figure out how far away we want to build it. Because I'm not sure like at what what they can actually build <laughs> we got to see how far they can make it and then we got to account for extra steps going to the side because they can't they still got to go sideways to build the middle part out so that's something <laughs> we're on cycle 16 right now we have 11 days left it's it's ticking up it's getting close it's getting close pretty soon we're gonna get start getting hit with the 30s and 40s so that's gonna be interesting i'm moro like the video subscribe if you're not and i'll see you guys next time.